We are here in Elisabeth, Greenland. That's the western part of Greenland. We are about 250 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle. My name is Kevin van der Bos and I'm working for Monk Civil Engineering as a construction manager. We are the main contractor for two airport construction projects in Nuuk and Elisabeth, Greenland. These projects are the largest construction projects in the history of Greenland, as well as in the history of our company. This airport is being built because the existing airport is, is too small and only able to receive small propeller planes. And by building this new airport, there will be the, the opportunity to receive bigger airplanes that can fly in straight from mainland Europe or America. The runway is partially situated in, in the sea, in the water. On top of the seabed, uh, there is a thick layer of clay sediments that needs to be removed before we can backfill. Otherwise, that will cause undesired sediments over time, which is obviously not preferred. For the dredging works, we have a 200 tons leap hair uh, crawler crane type HS8200 in use. At the moment, the crane is equipped with a 35 meter boom length using a round nose grab with a 3.5 cubic meter filling capacity. In a normal day shift, our production rate is close to 1000 cubic meters of dredged clay material. All the rock material we, uh, we use for our backfilling purposes uh, are to be found within the project boundaries. We need to drill and blast a total quantity of about 5.5 million cubic meters of rock material. And we also need to move that to, uh, to, its, to its location to, to end up with a runway of about uh, two kilometers in length. At the completion of the dredging works, the crawler crane will be fitted with a rock handling wrap for placing armor rock stones as part of the coastal protection along the future runway of the new airport. Yeah, so the crawler crane is being used for multifunctional purposes on this project. The average uh, temperature in summer is, is about 8 de degrees Celsius and in winter it can go down to minus 35 degrees Celsius. For us it's very important to finish with the dredging works on time to be ahead of the sea ice that takes uh, possession of the bay soon again, which does not allow us to work. The crawler crane is, uh, is equipped with a uh, dredging monitoring system, a very high-end uh, sophisticated system, giving the uh, operator the opportunity to look in real time what needs to be done where has been dredged already and also in order to lock the bedrock once uh, everything has been cleaned out to compute the quantities we need to backfill into the bay later on. Logistics is a huge challenge sometimes because we are depending on, uh, on the ship that's coming in every, every once a week to supply us with spare parts, equipment. Now, as we are building a project in a very remote area, it's quite important to have a lot of spare parts on stock uh, and also the availability to repair our own equipment. And that's why we have a very big workshop with an own team of mechanics. A tease on a, on an excavator normally lasts about five, six days if we are lucky. The, the materials are so rough and hard, it's like concrete. And winter and summer, of course, it changes because the condition of the steel when it's minus 25. As we have to work in very cold Arctic climate conditions, the crawler crane was delivered with Leapair's cold package, which allows the machine to be operational in temperatures down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. With the Leapair crane, we don't have any issue. It's doing a great job uh, and it works uh, six days a week. 
10 hours on every shift. And uh, people are very uh, pleased with this machine, the job it does, because it takes so much clay on, on the bucket every time and load the machines, the numbers. So, no issues. Yeah, the machine is performing uh, really well. It's actually doing better than we expected. We will finish uh, a little earlier than anticipated, which is really positive.